Good morning everyone. In today's video, we are starting the new question that is related to the normal distribution. In normal distribution, you will get question like this. For example, a project gives an average cash flow of 550 lakhs. Standard deviation is also given to you. And you are required to calculate the probability assuming that the distribution is the normal distribution. So in this case, first of all, we will write the values which are given to you. I have already written to make this video short. So mean and standard deviation will be given to you in case of the normal distribution. So we have written the mean which is, is equal to the 550 and the standard deviation is 110. So in this case, what is the mean? I am rewriting it and the standard deviation is 110. And in this case, they are asking you what will be the value of the probability in this case, the case one is cash flow will be more than 675. So you are required to calculate the probability when cash flow is more than 675. The second case, you are required to estimate the probability when cash flow is less than 450. And third case is you are required to estimate the probability when cash flow is between 425 to 750. So in the first case, when they have given you you are required to estimate the value more than when the value of x is more than 675. So in case of normal distribution, first of all, we will apply the cumulative formula. And in case of normal distribution, the formula start from normal distribution. So we are applying the formula for the case one. We will start from the is equal to to give the indication that we are writing the formula and we will type the normal. So you will see that it is already showing the normal distribution. I will double click that and it will show you the formula. Once you will click on that. So now it is showing the value of x. So value of x for which I want to calculate is 675. The value of mean for which I want to do the calculation is 550. Then the value of standard deviation as per the question is the 110 I am selecting the cell and comma for cumulative we will write true so I have written true for the cumulative and then press enter so it is showing the total value from means from the minimum to the maximum for which we are calculating so from minimum value to 675 it has calculated but we want more than 675 so what we have to do, we have to deduct from the 675 probability, whatever we have calculated. So in case of probability, we know that sum of all probability is, is equal to 0. So that's why we are deducting from 1 and the value which we calculated 0 0.872098 is the probability when we are estimating from the minimum value to 675 after 675 we want means we want more than 675 that's why we are deducting from 1 so in case of more than every time we have to deduct from the 1 as we have deducted in this case is equal to 1 minus then you can give the cell reference in which you have estimated the cumulative frequency but when we calculate for the less than in that case there is no need to deduct because it is giving me the value, the minimum value till 450. So that's why we will not deduct it from the 1. We will just write that. We will just apply the formula like we applied in that. So we are estimating. So the formula is norm distribution bracket open. We will select the value of x for which we are doing the calculation. Then we will select the value of mean. Then we will select the value of standard deviation and the sequence will be given in the formula. And then we want the cumulative. So we are writing true. Enter. In this case, we have calculated the value from minimum value till 450. And it is asking the value less than 450. So we have calculated that only. So we are not deducting from that. Then the third case is when you want to estimate the value from between when you want to estimate the value between 425 to 750, in this case, we will estimate the value individually for 425 and 750. So first of all, I am estimating for the 425. 
so here also the value of x for which we are doing calculation is 425 mean value will remain same for all standard deviation will remain same for all and here also i will write true because we are working on cumulative then we will estimate for the 750 so in case of 750 also we will apply the same formula only the thing is that we have to change the value of x in this case the value of x is 750 so we are selecting b22 after that we need to select the value of mean comma standard deviation and the mean standard deviation will remain same for all the cases and as we are estimating the cumulative we will select the true and then press enter so these values which we have calculated for 425 it is from minimum value to 425 and in case of 750 minimum value to the 750 we have calculated but we want between so we have to take the difference of these two so we will take the difference of 750 means the area between minimum value to 750 then the area between minimum value to 425 in that case we will get the exact answer so in our case we have the three answers which they have asked us so i am highlighting those values so this is the first case and this is the answer for the second sorry this is the answer for the second case and 0.8375 is the answer for the third case thank you